It's an exciting day today. Something new and fancy came. Yes! It came. It arrived. Oh, so beautiful. Let's get this baby inside. <laughs> oh. Today's a fun day because got the F-150 inside and setting it up. But as you can see, time has elapsed and he's messy. So, guess I gotta clean. Fuck. All right. Boom. Made room. Now to figure out how to unitank. Guess you'll figure it out with me. All right, let's do it. How does one get this out of the box? <laughs> Just cut the box, be really strong and lift it, lay it on its side. Uh, I'll just cut the box. Then people watching this are gonna be cringing and like, what is he doing? Cut in the box. And then this is for you. So you hate me just to ruin your day. Just for you. Oh wait, the box lifts. <laughs> of course, <laughs> that makes more sense than cutting the box. <laughs> Oh, yep. But my roof is low. <laughs> this will be fun. champion. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. Look. Boop. So you can pull out that box. I thought about that. I wouldn't have thought about that. Everything that it came with. Look at that. Now just to assemble it. Leveled. Got the heating on there. it's put together and uh, it turns out the weather's looking nice today so before I shoot some b-roll which you can fast forward ahead with the chapters below I'm gonna go bouldering after I come back from bouldering in addition to some tasty b-roll I'm also going to show you some of the optional accessories I got um, see you then
Not barely bad view with the bouldering. Basically just uh, worshiping pebbles. You know, relaxing in the shade like this. bottom what's included and what's optional so I got the optional hop drop kit this is so I could do low oxygen hop exchanges moving on down we have the pressure relief valve the pressure gauge and the spunding valve and if we slide on down with the racking cane we have the front here there's three ports in the front I am using one of those ports for a sampling in which I also have the sampling coil. This coil allows for less foam in the pores for when I'm um, testing out the beer and checking its carbonation. I also got the optional heater. This just plugs into an inkbird and it allows me to control the fermentation temperature. I also, on this side, have a thermo well. This is where the temperature input for my inkbird goes and tells me the temperature of my beer. And then, of course, we have a racking arm and a uh, dumping valve, a dumping tube, a something port. Yeah, I'll just put it in what it's actually called later. But uh, yeah, if you subscribe, you'll see that I'm also going to be hooking up a glycol chiller. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see how the heck I'm doing that. I don't really know how the heck I'm doing that, so we'll figure it out together. I think that does it for me today. So if you want to see more brewing shit, uh, I have a brew coming up for this actually, so New England IPA, you know, everyone's doing it. If you want to see the unit that I used to brew with it um, and me getting that unit, uh, you could check out the short little unboxing video here. So otherwise, uh, I'll catch you around. Peace.